Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about super keyword in Java. So first we will, we will write a sample code for a Java program. Suppose we have two class like class animal, class animal, this is parent class. It has animal constructor and we can write how to print ln inside animal constructor and suppose we have a child class which is extending to animal class like dog we have a dog class it it extends, extends to animal class and for dog class we have a constructor we can write here in dog constructor inside dog constructor and we have a variable also like a string living type type equal to animal and here also we have a variable string living type equal to dog okay so so uh, we have uh, we have our main class this is our main class and this is our main method here and here we have a parent class animal which has variable called living type equal to animal and it has a default constructor animal inside the default constructor we are printing inside animal constructor and we have dog class also dog class is extending to animal class animal is a parent class and dog is a subclass and in the dog class we have living type equal to dog and we have a dog constructor and we are printing inside dog constructor so suppose if we create an object of dog class like dog d equal to or let's say dog equal to dog default so can you guess when we run this program what will be the output we are just simply creating uh, a object of dog class dog object and we are calling default constructor so here i have to provide new also so so this default constructor will call will be called because here we are calling default constructor and this default constructor will be called and it should print inside dog class but but if we run this program then first it, it will pr print inside animal constructor then then it will print inside dog constructor why it's happening why it will happen why it will first print inside animal constructor then inside dog constructor because in java what happens when we are extending to the parent class then subclass constructor subclass default constructor automatically called super uh, constructor of super class animal is a super class for do this dog class so so compiler will automatically append this super super keyword as a first line of code into the dog constructor okay so it will be at the first line of code inside the default constructor of subclass so now if we if we are creating a dog object then first we are calling the default constructor dog okay default constructor dog will be called and it is it is calling constructor of super class super class is animal and constructor of super class is this one so it is here it is we are printing inside animal constructor okay this line of code is executed we have print, printed inside animal constructor then we are printing inside dog constructor so if we run this program output will be inside animal constructor then inside dog constructor okay let's run this program so let's execute this program line by line we know execution will start from the main method only so line number 18 will be executed and line number 18 we are calling default constructor of dog class so this will be called and we know our compiler will uh, will place super keyword as a first line of code into this dog constructor we are creating object of dog and we are calling default constructor of dog class so this dog class constructor will be executed and we know compiler will place uh, 
द सुपर की वर्ड बिकॉज डॉग क्लास इज एक्सटेंडिंग टू एनिमल क्लास सो फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ कोड इन द डॉग कंस्ट्रक्टर विल बी सुपर ओके सो इट मीन्स वी आर कॉलिंग डिफॉल्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ सुपर क्लास ऑल्सो so animal constructor will be called and it will print inside animal constructor then then execution will come to line number 12 inside dog constructor will be printed let's run this program so first we are we have called dog class constructor and line number 5 will be executed and at at the output screen it will print inside animal constructor inside animal constructor then execution will come to line number 12 so line number 12 will be executed and it will print inside dog constructor so this is end of program it has printed inside dog constructor and suppose we have another constructor like animal constructor with some parameter like string dog and we are printing dog name also plus dog name okay so it is a parameterized constructor in animal and suppose uh, then uh, then obviously we know that uh, default constructor dog will have super keyword it will have like this super and this super keyword will all, always call this constructor only animal default constructor let's run this program and see the output see it is calling animal default constructor it is not calling parameterized constructor suppose we want to call para parameterized constructor then we have to use the super keyword here and we have to pass this parameter dog name okay so to call this parameterized constructor we have to specify the parameter like super keyword and parameter is tommy let's run this program and see the output so here we are creating object of dog class dog and we are calling dog dog constructor so dog constructor will be called let's run this program line by line so dog constructor will be called here we are calling super construct with the help of super keyword we are calling parameterized constructor of the parent class and parent class is animal so this is default constructor it, it doesn't have any parameter this is also a, this is also constructor with parameter dog name so this will be called with the line number 15 line number 15 will call this con animal constructor because it has one parameter dog name and inside animal constructor dog name will be printed so the execution will go to line number 7 and line number 8 will be printed inside animal constructor tommy so uh, okay we are initializing the variables uh, because variables will be initialized when we call a default constructor dog name is tommy see here dog name is tommy we have passed here in the super keyword and so we are calling uh, this parameterized constructor of super class so inside animal constructor tommy is printed see dog name here okay and then this line of code which execution of line number 15 is completed so line number 16 will be executed line number 16 will be executed and it will print inside dog constructor so we can make it more uh, common like we can pass tommy here itself tommy suppose we want to pass tommy from here only and we want to make it generic then what what i can do we, i have to have a uh, parameterized constructor of dog class i can remove this i can have parameterized constructor like string dog name okay and this should be capital dog name and here i can pass dog name in with using super keyword and this is i can write dog name so we can identify which constructor has been called so what we are doing at line number 25 we are passing to me into the dog constructor it, this is a default constructor it doesn't have any parameters and this is this is parameterized constructor this dog constructor has one parameter dog name and we are calling super keyword with the dog name so super keyword means we are extending animal class so 
parameterized constructor of animal class will be called so this is the parameterized constructor of animal class so inside animal constructor dog name will be printed and we are passing dog name as a tommy so inside animal constructor tommy will be printed after executing this line of code line number 19 we will uh, execution will come to line number 20 and inside dog constructor will be printed tommy inside dog constructor tommy will be printed let's run this program and see the output so we are calling super with the super keyword parameterized constructor of super class so parameterized so initially these instance variables will be uh, initialized then this this line will be executed line number 8 so here we will print inside animal constructor tommy okay inside animal constructor tommy tommy is printed and here we have inside dog constructor tommy is printed inside dog constructor and tommy will be printed inside dog constructor tommy will be printed okay and this is end of the program and suppose if we don't uh, if we don't call uh, apply this super keyword if we don't apply if we remove this super keyword then also default constructor of parent class will be called okay so dog name will be printed here and we are not providing any constructor what we are doing at line number 25 execution will start from the main method only so at line number 25 we are creating uh, dog object of dog class and we are passing tommy as a argument so parameterized constructor of dog class will be called this is the parameterized constructor of dog class and here we have tommy in the dog name and here we are not calling we are here we, we don't have any super keyword so what will compiler will do compiler will apply super keyword automatically and and uh, parent class animal is a parent class parent class constructor will be called and this is a default constructor it is not parameterized constructor so default constructor of animal class will be called because animal class is a parent class of dog okay so default constructor of animal class will be called it will print in, inside animal constructor after executing this line of code uh, execution will come to line number 20 and inside dog constructor tommy will be printed okay so let's run this program and see the output so execution will go to line number 4 default constructor will be called line number 5 will execute inside animal constructor will be printed into output screen and execution will come to line number 20 system dot out dot print ln inside dog constructor tommy will be printed so inside dog constructor tommy will be printed now suppose i want to call default constructor of dog class also so how we how can i call it i want to call default constructor of dog class also here we are passing the parameters argument so parameterized constructor will be called and with this parameterized constructor i want to call this default dog constructor also to call default dog constructor we can use this keyword so using this keyword we will print default constructor of this class default constructor of dog class so inside dog constructor will be called and this dog constructor will call the default constructor of super class okay so inside animal constructor will be printed see and inside animal constructor is printed then execution will come to line number 15 line number 15 will be executed inside dog constructor will be printed okay inside dog constructor now parameterized constructor inside dog constructor then dog name tommy will be printed we are not calling default constructor we are calling parameterized constructor of the dog class so so dog parameterized constructor this constructor will be called and we are calling this key using this keyword default constructor also so default constructor will be called in default constructor compiler will append the super keyword as a first argument so parent class animal default constructor will be called this will be called so it will print inside animal constructor animal constructor is printed then execution will come to line number 15 we are printing inside dog constructor okay inside dog, cons dog constructor will be printed then execution will come to line number 20 because completion execution of this is completed and 
it will execute line number 20 so inside dog constructor then dog name tommy will be printed okay so this was all about super keyword in java with the constructors